on a Sunday, the 7th of December, 1941, while church bells rang in Honolulu, and the preliminary signal for morning colors was being sounded at land bases and aboard ships. The first wave of Japanese carrier-based aircraft flew in through Koli Koli Pass and began to devastate the Pacific Fleet of the United States at moorings in Pearl Harbor. 2,403 people died. 1,178 were wounded in the attack. But more than human life was lost that morning. A special world died too, the world of American innocence. the tallest structure in Hawaii was Aloha Tower. Not one traffic light profaned Kalakaua Avenue. Mornings rose in splendor and days passed in postcard tranquility. Never mind that elsewhere millions of people were dying as Hitler's and Hirohito's war machines overran nations. On the island of Oahu, which in the gentle language of the Hawaiians means gathering place, Caucasians, Chinese, Japanese, Filipinos, Native Islanders, civilians and military personnel all lived in delicate balance, still believing that this honeyed land was truly paradise. story about some of the people who were there and what Pearl meant to them. Some of these people lived, some of them died, but even the survivors were never quite the same again. <laughs> 